Hey everyone, I wanted to show you real quick on how to use your computer as a hands-free Bluetooth device for your cell phone. I work from home so it's pretty convenient, it's a nice thing to do. Uh, let's go ahead and start in the control panel and here in the control panel we want to go to hardware and sound. Uh, by the way this is for Windows 7, I should throw that out there. So in hardware and sound, there we go, uh, devices and printers, add a Bluetooth device. Uh, we click on that, brings up a dialog that starts scanning for Bluetooth devices. Uh, we're not going to use this, we'll come back to this in just a moment. What I like to do is down in the system tray, there's a notification icon for Bluetooth devices. Double click that. Uh, by the way, if that's not there, click customize and you can enable that. So let's double click these the Bluetooth devices. Brings up Bluetooth device manager and in here we want to add a device. But before we do that, let's put our cell phones in discovery mode. There we go. Add a device and it should come up here in just a moment. So there we are, my phone. Uh, highlight your phone, click next. Gives us a pin that we need to enter into our phone. This pin is unique, by the way. Here we are. So it's uh, notice in the bottom right, installing device driver software. It's going to go through a series of uh, installations, and then uh, when it's done, uh, we'll close this. Perfect. It's done now. It says uh, uh, it's still says installing device driver software. We'll click close, and we'll come back to that. We notice the this black dot on our new my phone. Uh, let's highlight that a little bit. And down here it says software is installing for this device. So we need to kind of hang out for a few and let that finish. Uh, that wrapped up. Uh, now it says the it doesn't say the installation's going. Here at the bottom right it says your device is ready for use. Perfect. So now uh, on my phone, I'm going to connect to my computer. So now we're connected. We notice here at the bottom right again, uh, we have this play. I'm not sure what that is. I don't use it. Uh, where I use this is if we go up to my phone and we double click it. And now we have uh, different methods for interacting with our newly added cell phone. Here we can, uh, in this particular phone, and this varies from phone to phone, so you'll notice here I have an HTC Evo that uh, is connected also. I don't have the same type of options that I do here. Uh, this particular phone, you can actually call and hang up. Uh, basically, it initiates a call or hangs up a call. It doesn't uh, do anything outside of that. Uh, file transfers, uh, headset and speakerphone, this is the one that we're interested in. If we click Connect, on uh, my phone it does prompt me to connect again. I say yes and uh, there we go. From there on out it'll use my microphone, it'll use uh, my speakers and it works fabulous. Let me point out one other thing though. Let's go back to our control panel and if we go to hardware and sound and under sound we want to change system sounds and under recording, I have a laptop. And this is one of the things that uh, took me a moment to uh, figure that out. It was using the integrated microphone and I wanted to set the um, my webcam microphone. So I had to go into the control panel, sound and then recording devices. And I actually had to select the microphone I wanted and set it as the default device right there. It doesn't show it. so actually look like this where you have the set as default device option. So I actually had something more like this. And I just uh, came in, set my uh, webcam microphone as the default device. I was good to go. Select OK. And that's it. So go ahead around and play around with it. Let me know what you think. I'm kind of curious for your feedback if there's uh, other methods that uh, you might use such a thing. Thanks a bunch. Hope you guys have a great one.